After completing Legion's main story, you'll be given one last mission, wrapping up a final plot point from the campaign. In this guide, we'll clue you in on how to complete it, so be warned there are spoilers for Watch Dogs Legion throughout. After taking down Albion and Zero Day, you'll be tasked with recovering the memories of Bagley, who has now sprung back to life in the DedSec HQ. To do this, you'll need to visit nine locations across London and photograph them, but the only clues are extremely distorted images. Don't worry though, we're going to tell you where to go. And note that when you're in the right locations, you'll get an alert on the top left corner of your screen telling you that a Bagley memory is nearby. So here are all the Bagley memory locations and where to find them. To kick things off, head to Trafalgar Square, which is located in the northern portion of the city of Westminster. Once here, head to the northern edge of the square away from the large protest gathering and look up at the long rectangular building. This is the National Gallery, and you'll need to take a photo of it to complete the first objective. For the second location, head to the northern half of Lambeth. On the western bank of the Thames, you'll see the large imposing Millennium Wheel, also known as the London Eye. Standing inland from it, you'll see two small kiosks just in front of the landmark on ground level. Stand just back from those kiosks and get them in shot with the London Eye. In the southern east corner of Islington, the world of tomorrow will be marked as a hostile red territory on your map. There's a beer garden directly next to that location. If you stand in the beer garden and face north, you'll see the colourful archway required for the third photograph. For the fourth location of Bagley's memories, get over to the Brixton Recreation Centre, which is found in the southern east area of Lambeth. This big square block can be found directly south of Kennington Park. You'll know the building by the white outline of a person on the side, just above street level. Make sure you get this in the photograph. For the fifth location, find the Crozier and Sherry pub. This is one of the trickier ones, but we found it nestled away alongside the very eastern border of Lambeth, directly next to the Viaduct Underground Station marker on your map. This location is known as Duck Island Cottage, and it's found near to the original Dead Sex safe house in the city of Westminster. Head north from the safe house and you'll come across a large green park area. On the very eastern edge, you'll find Duck Island Cottage. Take a photo from the eastern side. This is Wellington Arch, far outside the City of London. Find Buckingham Palace in the City of Westminster and look directly west from there. Heading in that direction, you will be in the far western area of London, home of the Wellington Arch. Take a picture from the northeastern side. For the penultimate Bagley memory, travel to the middle of Suffolk. Directly south of the Shard, you'll find Guy's Hospital. Face it from the west side for this photo. For the final photo location, go to the Sky Garden. This isn't marked on your map, but it can be reached by going to the Walkie Talkie building found in the southern half of the City of London. Go into the building on the ground floor and take the elevator up to the Sky Garden bar. Head out onto the terrace immediately in front of you from when you step out of the elevator and take a photo which captures both the Shard and the London Eye. With that, all of Bagley's memories are restored. Thanks for watching and subscribe to PC Gamer for more guides in future.